Good morning. It's good Friday morning. Happy Friday, everybody. Quick recap. Got all the edgings in. Nicely concreted in there, going nowhere. I'm going to put some 10 mil chippings on top of that just to make it look nice. All the echoes in, all connected up. If, if you remember, we broke into the drain and put a T on, and then it comes across to here. And that's our soakway in the corner there. It's more or less level across to there, but then the driveway drops to there. So we couldn't put the outlet there, so put it this, this end here. First go at them, quite impressed with that, and I like the, um, that version, put into the plastic. Pay about £6 more for those over the solid or, or plastic ones. Uh, here's our footing for our wall. That took me a while, because it's all been um, set out with a trammel and put in with the laser level. So let's see how good my laser level skills are when we get to build it. But all gauged in off that corner. So yeah, um, there's all our blues for the top. They're all the customs bricks that were on here on a pallet in the way. See them at the back there. So, first job is level some of this stone out because they're having a delivery from Ikea, so make it a bit safer from coming in. And then start getting the bricks up from down there, get them loaded out, stick an 84 sheet over this puddle so we can work. And first start, first job on the wall is the pavement part, and then we're going to have to keep barricading it then. We've just got a little bit there. We probably need a bit more stone because that's quite deep that bit, that's obviously got to be levelled out. Um, yeah, that's it. That's where we're up to so far. This is the end of the first working week without Alex. So anyway, I'll stop waffling now, get the camera set up and get a bit of work done. Catch you in a bit. Right, let's get these bricks up with the trusty brick tongs. It's been pulled down with an out, so I'm still off, so. Quick look at the Vic and Sean's handiwork. Beautiful extension, and you can see the garden drops right away. So it's quite up high. And Vic and Sean have fabricated this balcony themselves. Put the decking on, put the, uh, the glass balustrade on it. It's a beautiful job. So that's enough of that. We're going around the front. So we have leftover bricks from the extension, so the customer wants to use these in the wall at the front, which is quite sensible. And uh, it's a bit recycling as well. So what I need to do is get them all into sixes like that. Brick tongs are a tiny bit short for these because it's 70 degrees. You just about get six on. I'm not in flip flops in my while he's slapping against his bare legs. Okay. Do those bells sound ominous? This kind of stuff can get thrown under the driver's hardcore.
Ow. Oh, did not poke through? Oh, you just poked through because the seventy threes. Just catch it. <sighs> I've actually picked up another 80 today from, Phil, uh, from berries. So, a bit of luck, we have enough. We can be a bit more fussy with some of these ropey bricks. See, they do look smart when they're done. Beautiful brick, very expensive. £1.30 a pop. And as usual, price has gone up, quality's come down, same as everything nowadays. Okay, what else? That's what happens with 70 degrees, you see, don't quite fit. This is the last run now with the uh, chest mount. So, we're going to try the camera somewhere else. And then rinse, rinse and repeat. Right, as you seen on the time lapse, excuse me, makeshift trammel and <clears throat> six foot level. Trace the marks round, as you can see. Just put a mark about every brick, brick length just to get our curve. <clears throat> and as I got round here, it came over a bit. So, what I've done is I've got a piece of 3x2, transferred all lines two, two, two inch further out, 50 mil further out, so it brings it more central into the footing. When it gets to the end there where the arrow is, it comes square, it comes off there square and then it turns. As you can see the, the tram is about two foot off the wall there. So square and then the curve. 
So now, I've got my lines. I'm going to get myself some brick here and I'm going to set a little cone up here. Get this all set out and see where we are up to. So, um, catch you in a bit. Okay, welcome back. After just gone and leave Sam, that's so I'm going to do a little introduction. See what we're up to. Here we go. Michael will be way down a bit more. So, the plan now is build this up as a square head. Square head, and, and, and then there's a drop in the wall. So there's like a three course step there and that's going to run through four courses with a brick and edge on top and I've picked up six solid blues for the ends which are £1.70 a pop for the brick yep so there you go um, we're all set out now we're all bonded in we're all tied into the wall we've got the tie wires out across there and got a little two brick out straight and then the curve starts so you can see the new line I just put them in about every brick so that gives me enough from the curve. What you do then is set your bricks, level them, and then you, you pick you pick where the cross joints are and plumb them up. And just keep tapping them out because it tends to push away when you're doing curve work. So just keep tapping it back and tapping it back and keep it nice and plumb. So um, back to town, that's so why I get this little bit set up and make a bit of sense out of it and catch a little bit.
And welcome back to Solo Week number one. And it's 25 to 2. I'm not sure there's nothing down here yet. And I've got a dozen of them do this today. I'm going to concentrate on the top today. So if I get that wall up for most of it, then I don't have to barricade it. I'll have to barricade this section here, and even then, I might throw some stone and see how I get it fixed for time later. But, um, yeah, there you go. Basically, what you're looking at there, from there down, is buried. Coming down on an angle. That's the drive. This is all driveway, so this is all to be built back up. Um, then, so that's the ball. And then it's going to start stepping the thing on, put four steps in it, four two brick steps. And this is the finished wall for the road. Four and a half courses, the brick and edge, nice blues. So, you know, that's level through now. Just put it up to that, put a couple of screw ties in. I did a little bit of tidying up there, just to tidy up there. So the bottom two are face bricks, so they don't have to come right up with the soil then. They can go a bit low with the soil if they want, because this is going to be a planter. Like a planter within a planter. I'm not sure if this will come out or not, but whatever. You can decide after. But they, there's, they, there's our radius. It's going to look nice when it's done. So the drive is quite wide, and then it's going to go wide as you go down the drive. And sweep into that corner. So she has a lot of pots, so I mean, maybe put the pots around the radius to the, the, radius of the wall. I'm willing to feel any cars then. But anyway, that's me finish waffling. I'll transfer these bricks over here now. Get a line up and get these right.
So, happy Friday. And it's probably just gone half four now. I wait for half four. 25 to five, not quite. So, here you go. That's what we've got done today. The weather wasn't too good this morning. But walls all set out so no one can fall in the garden anymore. Double face. Keep it a bit lower there because the, the uh, sleep is a bit lower. So, so that's why the face work starts a bit lower down there. Turns, it's four courses plus a brick and edge, same as next door. And then we've got a nice little step down to the new wall, to our radius wall. To our radius wall. And that's going to have four steps in it, I think, because there's four course difference. I think it's going to be the same bottom four course and a brick and edge. And then back up to here, and then I'll split the split the, uh, the steps even as it goes down. So we need, I'm going to run out of bricks. I'll get them Monday, and then tomorrow. I'm going to use up what bricks I've got. Um, when I've done that, I'll have the drive. I'll get the whack on the back of that. So all the drive prepped. Um, the bricks, nobody's opening on a Saturday. Who stocks them anyway? So um, I'll we'll use it till Monday for them. So like I say, I'll use up what I've got. I'll have an idea what I need then. I've used a lot extra, a lot more in this back of this than I thought I would, so that's put me a bit short. But it's, there's no way you could work out anything in this world. Um, yeah, that's it. Everything's covered up with the jackets. Apart from that one, it's just blown off. Um, yeah, I'll leave it there. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>